Hi friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today to share a new scrapbook layout with you. And this one is featuring die cuts as well as hand stitching. Once again, I stitched around this overlay mat that I cut with my Cricut. It's just a scallop overlay, it's super cute. And I added, it looks like yellow on the screen, but it's actually like a yellow green, almost like a celery color green all the way around. And uh, quite honestly, I'm wishing I had done the flowers as well, the big flowers, because I think that would have looked really great too. And I didn't think of it until it was too late. So I'm thinking I might actually redo this layout at some point in the future and then hand stitch at least the top layer of those flowers. There's like, oh, probably four or five layers to each of these flowers. So it adds quite a bit of bulk to them, which is kind of nice because you don't have to add any foam squares or even craft foam to the back of them if you don't want to. I did just because go big or go home, <laughs> basically. Uh, so I added foam squares to the leaves. You can see me adding them right now. I used a mixture of the foam squares and liquid adhesive to glue the leaves down. The thinner, bigger ones, the lighter colored ones, I guess, um, I used liquid glue because it would have just been easier to adhere them. I decided to map my photo to white cardstock as well, just to... Um, give it a finishing border to it. Uh, I also thought that it would kind of, in a way, tone down the colors that are in the picture as well. It's a picture of a sunrise in the town that my husband grew up in. We go there regularly uh, throughout the year, mostly at hunting time, <laughs> so which is later in the year, around November. Um, at this particular time, we're back in January. I'm doing January 2020 in my scrapbooking right now. Um, but we're back in January to make our deer meat and make them into sausage and uh, other things as well. So this was that day um, that we were all going to go as a family out to the farm and make our deer and then bring it home. And the girls helped out too. Um, but rather than telling that story, because it's so much a part of our lives, um, in some ways I don't really think it's necessary. I mean, I'm sure I could add it to a scrapbook album, but not at this point. I wanted to use this picture to tell the story of where my husband came from, his home, and the place that he grew up in. So the title of this layout is Where You Are From which I thought was fitting. Actually, this title was pretty well the spark of creativity for the entire direction that this layout went in. When I was looking for titles, I had different ideas for what I wanted it to be. But when I saw where you are, uh, it just, it clicked and it made sense. And then I added the word from um, both are individual phrases in Cricut Design Space. Um, so they are not any particular cut file that I used. Um, and if you want to use either of these cut files or the flowers or the entire layout in your own crafting, you will be able to find it in the Cricut community uh, when I get this layout posted. I've been having problems uploading pictures of my layouts to Cricut Design Space I don't think it's Cricut, it's my computer. It's been having issues and might be in need of a repair or tune-up. Um, so when that's done and when I can, I add the links. I don't add the links. I'll add, add the pictures to the file so that I can share the link so other people can create it. So keep an eye on Cricut Design Space, the Cricut community, um, for that. And if I remember, I will include the link down below in the description box as well when I have it posted. So it's easier for you to find if you would like to use it yourself. So there is a ton of florals in this layout. As you can see, I'm working on another border down at the very bottom of the page. 
So there's a border at the top and a border at the bottom, and then there's kind of flowers sprinkled in between as well. The space that's left open to the left middle of the layout is actually going to be reserved for my journaling. And I have that one mint flower that's left over. Um, you'll see me pick it up in just a minute. And I don't know where to put it. I was like, I have a flower left over. How come? Where does it go? You can see me holding it right now. I was trying to figure out what I was supposed to do with it. And then I realized or remembered that I wanted to put it on the left-hand side of the layout, right about where I put it down. But first, I want to get my journaling out of the way. So I am journaling. Instead of creating my strips this time, I just um, added the journaling directly to the layout base. I'll do that if the paper underneath the journaling is flat and has no bumps. If it has any kind of um, borders under it or overlays or anything like that, that's when I tend to do the journaling strips just to get around not being able to write on a flat surface, if that makes sense. So I'm just adding the date now too. I'm still trying to stick with stapling things to my layout. <laughs> so I stamped the date on a scrap piece of white cardstock and I'm trimming it down so it's a tiny little strip and then I'm going to mat it to some darker cardstock and then that's going to get stapled to the top of my picture. And with that, this layout is just about done. I am going to add some glitter and sparkle to this layout as well. I use a close to my heart shimmer brush to color in the flowers, specifically the pink and white ones. I, oh, and the mint one as well, I guess. Um, mint ones. And with that, this layout is finished. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this layout inspired you and I hope you enjoyed today's process video as well. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and a like and leave a comment if you, if you feel inclined to. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell and select all so that you are notified every time I post a new video. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend and I will be back again soon with more inspiration. Bye friends.